So today we're going to learn how to replace a boom angle sensor on a Genie S65. So I'm going to turn it on. So now the boom is fully elevated and that's our sensor we're gonna need to replace. That's the one. So the reason why we replace it because he's losing the calibration every time. That's why we need to replace it. So this is the boom angle sensor, that's the part number and that's our new one, yeah make sure it's the same part number. Yeah. Yep, so first thing we're gonna remove those bolts So, you can leave it on side. Get our new one. So, I disconnect the old one and I plug the new one. It's already plugged in. So, to put it back, So, here's the trick. The boom is fully elevated and you put this one, the sensor first is like perpendicular or vertical, like this. And make sure everything is aligned. 
So this bolt here has to go inside. So the sensor first inserted vertical. It's hard to do it in with one hand. vertical now push it all the way and then turn it until you get where you can put your bolts back all four bolts and I put all bolts back but I did not tighten them so I leave it like that so it can be adjusted after so now we go to the next step. Turn the key to the platform, push the e-stop, and then we need to do the adjustment. So now we're gonna go back to the plug and we're gonna back probe the the black wire and the red wire of the sensor so uh, I can show you on the old one so we're gonna put the uh, see that's on terminal number two we're gonna use the negative lead on the of the voltmeter and the red one is number three uh, I mean the blue one yeah, I'm gonna put the positive of the voltmeter on the blue wire. It's number three. So I show you when I put everything installed. So yeah, it was hard to back probe it from here. So that's what I did. I just took the black, the negative side to the black. positive to the blue wire and voltmeter shown now 2.07 volt so what I'm gonna do is adjusting the sensor until we get between 3.8 and 4.2 volt so you need to turn it See how the voltages go up. So just keep turning it. That's the max. It won't turn anymore because the bolts they are holding it. So what we have do to do in this case just we need to take it off and make the angle a little bit bigger so we can turn it more with a bolt inserted so I'm gonna remove the bolts now and take off the sensor and turn it counterclockwise and put it back so as you see now we can adjust it on 4 volt yeah in this position and tighten it Yep. So now everything is installed. The next step is the we need to do a, a recalibration or calibration calibration. So we need to calibrate the boom angle sensor. And this might be in different video. Thank you.